is when you get involved with cultures that are not your own and when you get involved with landscapes, um, you start having a huge respect for, for nature and the order that's in the universe, the order that's in language, the order that's in the fact that we're all human beings, we're equal but we're different and it's those little nuances of difference that enrich one being able to interpret what they are because they make something particular. Through drawings and exploring landscape um, have inhabited these other worlds and, uh, and gained understanding and then there's the, there's the other side to it as well the side where I've tried to in my travels um, just record the spaces that give me delight and then not in a heavy way but then sometimes draw the plan and sections so that you can actually analyze and understand so there's there's drawing as a thinking tool but then there's also drawing as an analytical tool and there's that transition that's actually made which is what you do when you design because you 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 take an idea and you might have all these metaphors and influences but they actually influence what you what you're doing in the building which at the end of the day has got to be experienced by ordinary people so I've gone on this journey, which um, they fortunately have given me the opportunity to do, where it's both built and unbuilt works. And in some cases, the unbuilt works almost important, more important, because the essence of the idea is in the drawings, which hasn't been distilled or detracted from in the realization of the building. I know there's the counter argument that yes, you can experience the building, but we're doing both here. And I'm just saying that the nature of the philosophy is in the problem and I get into the problem by delving into the morphology of the sites that I'm actually on and parallel to that delving into the culture of the people I'm designing through and those two things somehow enrich what one is doing. And for me free space is the curators are responding to all of those spaces that we as human beings enjoy some of them very ordinary but they give you delight it could be the shadows of a tree on a wall it could be a space you're sitting in it could be a sacred space or it could be something else and so there's also something about the ordinariness and um, and I through through drawings and exploring landscape um, have inhabited these other worlds but you're doing it for yourself and then you take that and you share it with a broader audience and that's very generous and very 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 um, rewarding and wonderful